What up guys, thanks for tuning in to Phantom Sound. And in this video we are going to be talking about Riz Basses. It's a very basic thing that everyone knows and everyone uses, but not all of you guys know how to synthesize one. And in this video we are going to find out how to make three different types of Riz Basses. Really soft one. Medium hardness bass. And some really heavy stuff for your dubstep or drum and bass drops. You can find this project, samples from it and serum presets on my Patreon page, as well as a lot of other useful content. So to make this kind of really soft Riz bass, all you have to do is to select the basic saw wave and set unison to as many voices as you can. And there you go. You can also use the legato effect. But we will go ahead and use the second oscillator. Let's select this fifth table and once again set the unison to 16. This one is really subtle. Let's use the filter, the MG Low 6. Turn on the filtering on the B oscillator and set the cutoff at 100 Hz. Set the resonance at 20%. Let's go to the fixes tab and turn on the distortion. Set the drive at 60%. And finally let's go to the global tab and set the width on the first oscillator to around 15. And on the second one well, about 30. And there you go. This is really soft release bass for basically used for the intros of your songs. And let's check on the next one is the medium hardness release bass. It's my personally favorite one. This one is a bit more complex sound. We will, we will need a bit more time to reproduce it. Let's select the Rhythm S2 on the first oscillator. Set the octave to minus one. Move the wave table position up. Set the unison at, at four. And level at 50%. Turn on the second oscillator and select the Rhythm as 4. Select the unison at 3. Detune in this position and the octave to minus 1 as well. Set the level at 3 o'clock. Let's use the quantize warp mode on the first oscillator and set it at 70%. And let's use a filter. It's going to be the comps one. Select the filtering on the B and move the cutoff up. Set the resonance at 9 o'clock, drive at 10% and damp almost at 12 o'clock. Nice, let's go to the global tab and set width of both oscillators to 50%. Let's use the distortion on the fixes tab, set the drive at 60%, 65, will be fine. And let's finally use another filter, it's going to be the MG Low 12 and set the cutoff 
at one o'clock. Let's also switch it to the mono to make it legato. And here we go. We could use we could also use more noise on this sound. So in the mix it sounds like this. And that's the difference between the first one and the second. But now we are going to take a look at how to make a really powerful wrist bass for your drops, mainly drum and bass or even dubstep drops, which sounds like this. It's also really simple, it's almost as simple as the first sound. Let's use the saw on the both oscillators, set the unison to 2 and let's go to the global tab. So now it sounds like this. But as soon as we reduce the width of the sound down to 0, let's see what happens. Let's use the legato as well. With a bit of tweaking, let's make it really fat. To do so, let's use the noise, particularly the J106. Move the pitch up and set the level at 12 o'clock. Let's go to the global tab and distort the hell out of this sound. There you go. I have a bit of the post-processing on this one, it's the OTT compressor. Some EQing, limiter and isotope ozone 5 with mono turned on. But we don't need it basically because we've reduced the width on this sound in serum, but if we bring it back, disable the ice topos on 5, we will get something like this. But as soon as we make it mono, it sounds like this. But in the second part of this drop, I've created a variation of the sound. And it sounds like this, it's really interesting, and that's because I've also set the semitone to 7. And raised the octave to plus 1. Reduced the level of the second oscillator. So this sounds really ravey and as the sound is dead mono, I've created the second instance of it. It's pretty much the same and I've set it to the different post-processing chain, which also contains frequency shifter.
love filter basically is the same plugin chain as i've used in my previous neurofunk tutorial it's the compressed distortion preset of the love filter and i have the auto pen this sound is really wide i have it set to stereo even here and with a bit of the width on all bands and finally i've got all of the low frequencies we don't need any width on lows and together with the main sound it sounds like this You guys are probably wondering why this sound is wobbly since there is no any LFO automations on this one. That's because when it's set to be stereo, we have quite the same signals on both oscillators, which is separated on different channels left and right, which makes it really wide and there are no any conflicts. But as soon as we reduce the width, Both of the signals are compressed into one thin line, which is the mono signal, and that's where the phase cancellations happens. It's a really interesting topic and it requires a separate tutorial. Basically this happens when two inverted signals are muting each other. So it makes it sound like it LFO automation when there's actually none of it. On different frequencies you can hear the different LFO speed. The lowest note is, the slowest is the wobbling on the sound. The higher notes, fastest wobbling. And this is the effect that you can hear in a lot of neurofunk drum and bass producers like Noisia, Mephius and a lot of other cool guys. So keep that in mind, hope this tutorial was useful to you and you will find your perfect Riz bass. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. This is really helping me a lot, guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!